Okay, thank you everyone for logging into our Google Meet about Project Hope. This is gonna be our webinar where we'll be giving you more information on depression. Okay, so first we have what is Project Hope, why we chose the name Project Hope and why we chose depression, uh, a little bit about what depression is, some facts about depression, uh, resources that you can use to either like learn more about depression or just uh, learn how to cope with depression. And then our contact info, like our platforms, our link tree, things like that. Okay. Okay, so first question, what is Project Hope? We chose to name our campaign Project Hope because we wanted our campaign to give people hope that they are not alone and that they can overcome the depression. Depression can make people feel very lonely and we want to show people that they weren't the only ones struggling. This can go for all different types of mental illnesses. Depression being a main one and a prevalent one in society today. Okay, so uh, we chose to name our campaign Project Hope because we wanted our campaign to give people hope that they are not alone and that they can overcome their depression. As we said before, depression can make people feel really lonely. And we wanted to show them that they're not the only ones struggling with mental health, with their mental health, specifically depression, that they can that they aren't alone and that they can overcome their depression. In regards to why we chose to spread awareness for depression, we wanted to, we took a survey within our community and depression was a prevalent mental health issue amongst teens in our school and in our community. So we decided to uh, spread awareness for depression because our campaign would help many people who are struggling. And we hope that this campaign will show people that they aren't alone and that uh, and help people in our community. Okay, next question, what is depression? Depression is a major depression disorder that affects many people nationwide. Some symptoms of depression are being constantly sad, anxious, restless, or hopeless. Okay, so here are some resources for depression. Many people can go, go to these websites for things like coping mechanisms or just to learn more about depression or to learn about other mental illnesses. So there's the National Alliance on Mental Illness, National Institute of Mental Health, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, which you can also call or text 988 if you really do need help or just in general. There's also Depression and Bipolar Support Alliance. Uh, there's also Eric Coates Lighthouse, Central for Disease Control and Mental Health that has very good information, SAMHSA, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, and Anxiety and Depression Association of America. These are all very credible sources that have a lot of information that they can be given on depression. Uh, so here's our contact information. We have our email, the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, our link tree. And this is what our link tree looks like. We have a blog, of course, our Google Meet webinar, which we hope you guys are all on right now. Our Instagram page, okay. our threads, our TikTok, our Twitter, and our YouTube, obviously, where this video will be being uploaded onto. Okay. And so with that, with that, we'll show you a few of our, uh, a few of our platforms. So, this is our Instagram where we have we do daily posts ranging from So this is our Instagram. Okay. So this is our Instagram uh at project underscore hope twenty three. We hope you guys can check out our Instagram for more information. So we do daily posts of uh, things like Mental Health Mondays, Trivia Tuesdays, Wellness Wednesdays. Uh, we do Truth or Tale Thursday, which is like Fact or Myth, uh, Fact Friday, a Self-Care Saturday, and of course, Wellness Wednesday. I cannot say that. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, so yeah, we have- We also have a few like fun ones like Struggling Star Sunday too, which yeah. you can go and see on our Instagram page. Uh, we also have some really fun videos where we spread positivity around the school, uh, whether it's people, friends. This is one. Uh, this is a fun one where we had many people uh, write little post notes with positive messages and we put them all together to create a little mural around our school. We also have fun little videos like spreading positivity around friend. This would be our post-it one. Uh, we also have various other ones, like what are you thankful for? We also do have links to our website and our blog, and our blog does update about weekly where we have different posts, yeah. such as shedding light on seasonal depression or unraveling the truth behind depression. 
we also have videos where we have people write down uh positive messages and things of that nature so these are just a few this is the dean of our school we have that um there are other people students teachers we want to really get to know our community and we want to get some positive messages from them yeah. to help people feel more positive and have a better outlook on life in general really just spreading awareness around our community and we try to do that in any way possible by including anyone at our school uh so you know we have some mm -hmm. fun ones and all of this information has also been posted onto our TikTok and our threads so if you want to join your what if you want to join there or follow there you would see the same information yep and we also have another webinar coming up on december 17th at 3 p.m we hope to see you guys there and so that was a little bit about our instagram we can show our blog So as you can see, we have a lot of different posts here from navigating depression in the workplace, how food affects your mental health, how depression affects relationships, the power of self-care, sleep's role in mental health, shedding light on seasonal depression and unraveling the truth behind depression. These are some of our main posts and we will be posting more consistently from now on. And in general, this is our website. So if you go to our homepage, you can see a lot about what we do. We can see our Project Hope message and you can just see some of the general topics that we like to focus on in our website, such as mindfulness, coping mechanisms, and of course, a lot of different facts about depression. And if you do go to our website, you can also see a link to our link tree here. You can also go to our resources where we have some good resources like websites and lines that you can go to. Um, and then this is just a little bit about us, why we created uh, why we created Project Hope. And as you can see, we're two sophomores at William Prompt High School and we like to help out our community. This is us. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have an email, projecthope2324 at gmail.com. Please so if you free. ever want to contact us for anything at all, you can always contact us there and we will respond, of yes, course. Of course. Um, yeah. And then this is just a little bit about uh, contact us. If you ever want to fill it out, please feel free to do so. Uh, we also have on our link tree, we have our websites. We would also like to plug uh, be, the Be There course. We are Be There certified. And Be There really did teach us a lot a lot about how to help people it kind of gave us a little guide for our community and how to help people in the community how to help people struggling with depression and other mm -hmm. mental illnesses we would definitely encourage you to get be there uh to be be there certified it also got gave us a really good idea of how to like approach people when talking about depression yeah. and how to be very mindful of depression so it is a very good course. We ha do have our certificates from Be There. And if you really want to learn more about depression or learn more about how it affects your community and the people in your life, this is definitely a great website to go to. Yep. Uh, so we also have various little things. So obviously our Instagram, our blog, we have TikTok, which we have a bunch of various different videos. So yeah, we have all these things. We have a, a bunch of different videos, like what are some ways to cope with depression? A uh, very popular one. A lot of people enjoyed doing this. And this was a really fun video for us to make. Mm -hmm. So this is just like a few minutes into our video. We were just giving you a little tips, little like small messages. Yep. There's that one. We also have our spreading positivity around Fremd, which is just us helping out our community, lifting people up, spreading more positivity. Yeah, and as we said before, all of our Instagram videos have been posted onto TikTok, so this is the same videos that we showed you before. And then we also had a video with, uh, we also had a video. We make various different videos, and we do also ask people what depression means to them like this is a video of this is a video of one of our teachers talking about depression um and what it means to her and this from so like that's... psychology you know like the my major but like according to the DSM so class, this is just like... a little bit more about what people what it means to be depressed uh what depression means to her and we hope to continue doing that and we hope to get other people so look for uh please look out for that and then we have 
our X, our Twitter. Uh, here are some other really good. Mm-hmm. We also did like a fun little thing on like Thanksgiving where we did Thankfulness Thursday surveys. Those are just asking people about like depression, what it meant to them, what they knew about it. So yeah, uh, we made a video with that one, just featuring what people were thankful for this year. And these were just a few of our responses that we got. Some are very funny, some are very sweet. Yep, Uh, just really anything that you, anything that people had to share, we shared. So that's just a little bit bit about that. Um, yeah. So as we said before, we're going to be having a webinar next Sunday. Yes, next Sunday. We will let you, we'll give you more information on that in our Instagram and our other websites. We'll be putting out more information. Other than that, we really thank you for coming on to the Google Meet. We will be posting this video onto YouTube. For anyone that missed it. Yeah, so please do go to our YouTube channel. Our next webinar will most also likely be put onto YouTube. And as we said before, all of our links are being updated right now they're all like shown in this video so please do follow us please go to youtube give us a like subscribe and thank you so much for coming into this video listening to what we have to say we really hope that this video was giving you a lot of good information about depression and why we chose this project and that you're going to learn more from what we're trying to give you Okay. okay thank you thank you so much